Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stagger an enemy very efficiently like a Final Fantasy 16 developer and a real gamer. Let's count how many times it takes to uh, get them to 50% stagger with just Rising Flame. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that took eight times. Now that wasn't very efficient, and not only can you not do that, uh, because you know Rising Flames is going to be on cooldown, so you can't just spam it like that. But we want to do it very efficiently. So the most efficient way to stagger an enemy is to just parry them, because when you parry them, you get a twenty-five percent damage bonus that actually also applies to their stagger meter as well. So not not only are you doing more damage to the enemy to their actual HP, you're actually doing more staggered damage as well. So you're going to actually stagger the enemies faster if you parry them. So let's see how many Rising Flames it takes to stagger the enemy. You know, if we only do Rising Flames after we parry. One. Two. I'm actually cheating here. I'm actually doing a magic burst after the parry. It's just habit for me now, but uh, I'll try to not do a magic burst. Three. Four. Five. Okay, it took us five times to stagger him after we did Rising Flames after a parry. Now, without parrying, it took us eight times. So, you know, that's an improvement, but still we, we can do better, right? So what you can do is after you parry, you can include a magic burst after you parry. That's, that's a simple way to start. So it would look like this. Magic burst. Get a little bit more stagger damage to him. But we can do even better than that. We can actually start doing a combo on him. We can get like three magic bursts on him after every parry. So you can see I got like three magic bursts. Not only that, we can chain, we can do an ability chain into a rising flames after that. So if you're an arcade mode enthusiast, you get more points by doing ability chain. And you can also get another bonus points for iconic punishment, which is just doing an icon ability after a parry. So it looks something like this. Not only that, but you can even add another ability after that if you have a really fast ability. So the ability I want to add is Mesmerize. The reason I like Mesmerize is because its cooldown is so fast. It's one of the fastest in the game. It's around 15 seconds. I'll probably put a note. So it looks something like this. Alternatives you can do, you can do a lunge as well instead of doing mesmerize. There's there's many options. You just have to experiment and see what you can fit in that post parry window where he's vulnerable and get it and taking damage as those yellow numbers. So let's see how many parries and counterattacks it takes to stagger him at 50%. Kind of do like those magic bursts, like maybe three magic burst combos with the rising flame to try to fit a memorize mesmerize in. So he's fresh here. Gonna fit a mesmerize in. So we got him down in three parries and counterattacks, three counterattacks. Now you can even optimize that even further. You could probably get it down to two if you actually pick the right skills to use, uh, you know, that do more wheel damage. So I, I used Rising Flames, but I, off the top of my head, probably like Pile Drive is probably a better option. If you did a Pile Drive in there, or if you did Scarlet Cyclone, Scarlet Cyclone is also a good choice. So I just did Rising Flames. Now Rising Flames, you know, it's only a two-star wheel damage skill. 
So you could probably even optimize that even further and get it down to uh, two counterattacks, you know, stagger him at 50% and two counterattacks by, you know, probably using Scar Scarlet Cyclone instead. Does a little bit more wheel damage. Pile Drive is also a good option. The only reason I don't really like Pile Drive is actually a cooldown on Pile Drive is actually quite high. It's hard to counterattack him every time because it, there's, because usually Pile Drive will be on cooldown and it's not always up. So that's why, you know, Ri Rising Flame is actually a good option. Cooldown on Rising Flames is quite low. Uh, some other contenders as well with low cooldown abilities that are good for following up uh, parry to get those counter damage for that extra stagger damage is Ice Age. Ice Age has extremely low cooldown. Mesmerize, like I said, has another extremely low cooldown. Actually, all of Shiva's skills have extremely low cooldown. Ice Age, Rhyme, and Mesmerize. So that's uh, one advantage of using Shiva skills. Like Some people write off Shiva skills because they think, oh, they suck and they're so weak. They're actually good from a cooldown perspective. Wicked Wheel is also a very good option. This does crazy good amounts of will damage as well, so it will translate to good staggered damage. So you have options here. And, you know, you can use whatever you want. So you can see we went from 8 Rising Flames to get him at a 50% stagger to adding Magic Bursts, to adding a triple Magic Burst combo with a follow-up with the Ability Chain into Rising Flames and tried to add a me Mesmerize if we had some time. We could get him down in 3 counter attacks. So you can get them down, you can get enemies down really fast if you know what you're doing. Again, and the reason this works so well is because you're getting that 25% damage bonus from staggering him because it turns the white numbers into yellow numbers. And not only does it do HP damage, it does more stagger damage as well. So if you want to stagger opponents efficiently, you better start learning how to parry because that's one of the most efficient ways to do it. You know, abilities like Raging Fists and Gouge, they're not always going to be online. So you always need a backup in your po back pocket to... Uh, efficiently and consistently take down enemies and get them staggered. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.